You can import files from different apps to add to your Scrivener binder and use in your projects. You can also import files to Scrivener's research folder so you can refer to them whenever you need to. Scrivener lets you import several different types of text files to your binder to use as part of your writing projects. You can also import many types of files to the research folder to access at any time. Scrivener can import the following file types. Text files in a variety of formats, PDFs and HTML files, image files in the most common formats, audio and video files, OPML files to import outlines created in apps that use this format, and screenplay files in Final Draft or Fountain format. To import a file to the binder, click on a folder, then choose File, Import, Files. Select a file, then click Import. Scrivener adds the file to the selected folder. If Scrivener can read the file, if it's in a format Scrivener can understand, it converts the file into a rich text file. You can import files to the Research folder in the same way. Select the Research folder, then choose File, Import, Files. Select a file and click Import. Scrivener converts the file if it's a text file that Scrivener can display. If you import PDFs or media files, Scrivener doesn't convert them and you can click them to view or play them in the editor. You don't need to go through the menus to import files. You can select them in the Finder on Mac or in the Windows Explorer and drag them to a folder in the binder. Rather than import some types of text files as single files in the binder, you may want to import a file and split it. Scrivener can examine documents and create individual files in the binder for different sections. There are two ways to do this. Start by choosing File, Import, Import and Split. The Import and Split dialog shows two options. You can split the document using its outline structure, or you can have Scrivener find separators in the text. If you're importing a Microsoft Word file created with styles, such as Heading 1, Heading 2, etc., Scrivener can detect these headings and split the document into separate files, with the file names adopting the names of the headings. Select a file, choose Split using the document's outline structure, then click Import. Here's what the Scrivener binder looks like after I imported a copy of Henry David Thoreau's Walden, where the title was styled with Heading 1 and each chapter title styled with Heading 2. If you choose Split into Sections by finding separators in the text, you need to prepare the document with characters that separate sections. By default, the split character is the number sign, pound, or hash character, but you can use any character or sequence of characters. You'll need to go through your document and insert these characters where you want the document split. Select a document, choose the option to split by finding separators in the text, then click Import. As with Microsoft Word files, Scrivener can detect headings in Markdown files and split them accordingly. Choose File, Import, Import and Split. If you select a Markdown file with a .markdown, .md, .mmd, or .txt file extension, Scrivener displays options offering to split the file using Markdown headings. If you check Convert Markdown, Scrivener also converts the file to rich text format. OPML, or Outline Processor Markup Language files, are created by certain Outliner apps. You may have created an outline for your project in a different app, and Scrivener can import this file and split it in the binder in lines as created in the original Outliner app. Scrivener splits these files at each level the Outliner used and creates a complete structure for the outline in the binder. You can then use these files to start writing your project. Scrivener can import screenplays in Final Draft and Fountain format and split them into scenes. Choose File, Import, Import and Split, then select the file. If you choose a Final Draft file, Scrivener gives you the option to choose which element to use to split the file. In most cases, this will be scene heading. If you import a Fountain file, Scrivener automatically splits it. 
You can download a 30-day free trial of Scrivener from Mac or Windows at Scrivener.com.